Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a homemade functional equation. We have f of f of x plus y equals x to the fourth power plus 2x squared y plus y squared. This is from reals to reals. For, so for x and y values that are real, this equation is true. Now, let's see how we can solve this problem. Obviously, I do have an idea since I kind of came up with the problem. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and solve this equation, but at the end, we're going to see something uh, that's a little interesting. Anyways, let's get started. So to, to solve this problem, I'm going to use substitution, and pretty much uh, with functional equations, that that's what we do. We look for special values such as f of 1, f of 0. You know, we can replace x and y with pretty much anything because they're both real numbers. So we have a lot of freedom. But um, I'm going to be presenting one method, which is going to take a little long to do. But if you know of any other method, please let me know. Anyway, so I'm going to replace y with x minus f of x. And the motivation behind this is that's going to turn into uh, f of x on the left-hand side. So let's go ahead and do it. f of f of x. So replacing y with x uh, minus f of x means I'm not replacing x with anything. Okay, x is going to stay as x. So y will be x minus f of x. All right, great. Now these two cancel out, and that gives us f of x on the left. That was my goal. Now on the right hand side though, we have to do the same thing and that's going to be a little bit painful. All right. So let's go ahead and do it. We're going to start with x to the fourth plus so 2x squared and then I'm going to replace y with x minus f of x and then x minus f of x again but this time I have to square it. Okay. So this is what I get. Pretty messy. Then we're going to make it messier. And then we're going to fix it, okay? So let's go ahead and expand everything on the right-hand side. x to the fourth plus 2x cubed minus 2x squared f of x. And then we have a minus b quantity squared. Let's go ahead and expand it. x squared minus 2x f of x plus f of x squared. Okay. Now I do have something on the left-hand side. I don't want that. I want to put everything on the same side so that I can organize this and turn into an equation, which you'll see in a little bit what kind of equation we get. Maybe at this point, you already have an idea. Okay, f of x squared, and then from that, I'm just going to subtract all the f of x's, like this one. Let me go ahead and let me show you here. Minus 2x squared f of x, and then minus 2x f of x, and then this one will be subtracted, so it's going to be minus f of x. And then I have, this was taken care of, I have the x to the fourth, x to the third, and x squared left. So let's go ahead and write this down as x to the fourth plus 2x cubed plus x squared. And the whole thing is equal to zero. So I've taken care of this, this, and that. Everything was taken care of, right? Okay, so now we have something that equals zero. But what is this? Let's simplify this a little bit more. So let's go ahead and factor out an f of x here, f of x squared minus. Notice that if I take out a negative sign, then I get 2x squared plus 2x plus 1 as the coefficient of f of x with a minus sign, right? Obviously. Okay. So what does this look like? If you said quadratic equation, you got it. This is a quadratic equation in f of x. Isn't that crazy? All right. So we're going to treat this as a, even though there's an x in the variable, but we can kind of treat this as a, we can kind of treat this as a quadratic in f of x. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to solve this using the quadratic formula. Even though it looks very messy, it's going to simplify. Okay. So let's see how we can solve this problem by using the quadratic formula. Before I use the quadratic formula, since it's going to be really messy, let's go ahead and evaluate the discriminant, the stuff that goes under the radical. So the discriminant is going to be b squared, and when I square the negative sign, it doesn't matter, minus 4ac. a is 1, so I can just write the c here, and that's going to be my delta or discriminant. Now let's go ahead and simplify this. If you square this, you're going to get 4x to the 4th plus 4x squared plus 1 plus 8x cubed plus 4x squared 
plus 4x and then if you expand or distribute to negative negative 4x to the fourth minus 8x cubed minus 4x squared that's our discriminant again that looks messy but don't worry it's going to simplify 4x to the fourth cancels out 4x squared cancels out 8x cubed cancels out so we're only left with 4x squared plus 4x plus 1 which is super duper nice why because it is a perfect square and that's perfect awesome so let's go ahead and write it as 4x squared plus 4x plus 1 which is equal to 2x plus 1 quantity squared great now when we place this radical uh, i mean when we place the delta under the radical remember the formula negative b plus minus the square root of delta over 2a that's going to give our f of x values uh, when you square root this, it's going to become 2x plus 1 with the plus minus sign. Make sense? So f of x becomes the following from here. Negative b, which is the coefficient of, the opposite of the coefficient of f of x, plus minus the square root of delta, which is 2x plus 1. Let's write that in parentheses because we're going to have two solutions and all of that is divided by 2, which is 2a. Great. So this gives us two solutions. That's what's kind of cool about this equation that we get two solutions let's go ahead and write each one separately the first one is i'm going to take the plus sign 2x squared i'm going to write 2x squared plus 2x plus 1 okay and then with that plus 2x plus 1 divided by 2 if you simplify this you're going to notice that this becomes 2x squared plus 4x plus 2 divided by 2 which is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 1. And then you can write it as x plus 1 squared. So f of x becomes x plus 1 squared from here. That's one of the solutions. And then the other solution is just going to be the same thing pretty much with a minus sign. 2x squared plus 2x plus 1 minus 2x minus 1 divided by 2. 2x cancels out, 1 cancels out, and 2 cancels out. Everything cancels out and we end up with f of x equals x squared. I could probably just put that over here so that the two solutions are together. Okay, so we got two solutions and are we done with the problem? No, we got to check them. And here's the thing. When you plug in the first solution, let me tell you, and you can tr uh, test this yourself, you're going to notice that it doesn't satisfy the equation because think about it. f of x is x plus 1 squared. And then when you apply x plus 1 squared or whatever plus 1 squared to this expression, you're going to get many more terms than this one. So they're not going to be equal. But guess what? f of x equals x squared satisfies this equation because f of x squared plus y by definition is x squared plus y squared. And that's equal to x to the fourth plus 2x squared y plus y squared, which is what we have on the right hand side. Now, when I came up with this equation, I thought about this and then wrote this and then I came up with this and that's how this problem came about. Now, why do we have another solution and that doesn't work? I don't know. You're going to find out and let me know. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care and bye bye.